Gilbert, I cannot freaking believe this crap. Have you heard about where we have to go? Did mom tell you? Uh, yeah, of course mom told me, and you have no idea how mad I am. Oh, you're mad that we have to go stay with our redneck cousins in the hills for a week? You're mad? Well, wouldn't I be? I hate it up there as much as you do. At least you're a boy. At least they take you to do some fun guy things. Like what? Name one thing that's fun. Okay, um, what about those ATV things? Those look like fun. Riding around on those mountain trails and stuff. Are you out of your freaking mind? I don't want to drive one of those death machines. Do you know how many horrible accidents happen on those things? Yeah, I do. I thought you may be into it because of that. Oh, sure. I'm into it because it may kill me. That's a great idea. Well, I thought about what guys were into. Well, not this guy. This guy's into his tablet and weighted blankets. Wait a minute. You aren't going to bring your weighted blanket, are you? Um, yeah, of course I am. I can't sleep without it. How am I going to be able to sleep in that weird log cabin house? So you're going to haul that 20-pound blanket all the way around the place? Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, I have some other bad news for you. Um, what is it? I don't think I can handle any more bad news. Yeah, well, you know that machine gun shoot that they all go to every year? The one with all the crazy people and the guns and Confederate flags? Ugh, yeah. Well, they're taking us to it. What? No, I don't want to go to that. I don't want to shoot a machine gun. You don't? No. Why do you? I mean, no. Ugh, you know, it's totally freaking blows. Here it is, finally summer, and the first week of it, we have to spend with that side of the family. I know, I know, but at least we'll get through it together. Yeah, well, let's hope we do. Uh, Mom, do I have to go to our cousins this week? Yes, honey, of course you do. How many times have we been over this? They're expecting you. But, like, I really do have a ton of schoolwork that I need to catch up on, you know? Honey, it's summer vacation, and it just started. Well, I know that, Mom, but I... Uh, I need to start prepping for my junior year, right? I mean, now's the time when things really start heating up for college stuff, right? Yes, but you don't need to be doing all of that right now. And besides, since when were you so interested in school? No offense, honey, I love you, but you aren't exactly a furnace of ambition. What do you mean? That's, like, totally offensive, Mom. I mean, you know I have self-esteem issues anyway, and then you have to go and say something like that? I mean, do you want me to be in therapy for my whole freaking life or something? Because if you do, I sure hope you know that you're going to be paying the bills. Honey, we have choices in this world. If you want to choose to be miserable, then that's your choice. What? What the heck does that even mean, Mom? Uh, look, honey, family is a very important thing in life, but perhaps the most important thing. When the chips are down, they are the only people that you can count on. When the chips are down, what does that even mean? Is that some type of old-timey expression that nobody uses anymore? Look, honey, it's going to be okay. Some of your cousins are pretty cool. Pretty cool? They're a bunch of gun-toting maniacs. Then just suck it up and take it, okay? Uh. Mom, do I have to go to our cousins this weekend? I hate them. They're gun-toting lunatics. Honey, what is it with you and your sister? Seriously, why can't you just spend some time with your family and enjoy it? How could anyone possibly enjoy that? Don't you understand that you come from these people? Uh, that you share the same DNA? I could care less about DNA. I don't even know what it is. Ugh, no wonder you're flunking biology, sweetheart. Man, Mom, that was ice cold. Are you this way with Rachel? I was about this. So she was complaining too, huh? Well, can you blame her? I mean, how did you come from these people, Mom? All right, that's enough out of you, Gilbert. I don't want to hear one more word out of you about our family. Do you hear me, young man? But, Mom... It is just about time that my two spoiled, rotten children start behaving like decent, grateful individuals. Oh, so we're indecent now? That's right, indecent. Now look, can we please just 
Suffer through this, and then I promise you that we'll never have to do this again. What do you mean by that? Explain yourself, lady. Ugh. I guess I just mean that if you go this time and stop whining to me about it, even though it will break your mother's heart, I won't make you go again. Really? Are you serious about that? Yes, fine, fine. Do you promise? Yes! Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. I'll tell Rachel. Ugh. Hey, Gilbert. What's up, bro? Uh, it's Gil. Only my mom calls me Gilbert. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. My mom always calls you Gilbert, so I guess I picked it up from her. Yeah, well, I hate it, so if you don't mind... Sure, uh, no problem, no problem. <laughs> so anyway, are you looking forward to the machine gun shoot on Friday? It's really fun. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Well, uh, have you ever shot a gun before? Uh, no, why would I want to do that? Aw, oh, dude, it's so much fun. It, like, makes so much noise. It feels so cool in your hand. It feels so cool in your hand? What's so good about that? Well, uh, anyway, so what else do you like to do back home? Do you play any sports? Do you like football? Football? Dude, are you nuts? Do you know how dangerous that sport is? Um... Not to mention just how corrupt the NFL organization is. How they cover up all those concussions and stuff. I mean, how can you support something like that? Uh, okay, well, what do you do for fun then? Uh, video games. I read. Do you read? Um, a little bit, here and there. I guess I pretty much only read in school, though. Oh, right. Well, anyway, I hope to get to know you better on this trip, Gil. Uh, sure, Billy. See you at supper. Um, what are we having tonight? I kind of have a sensitive stomach. Venison and beans! Uh... Hey, Rachel, how's it going, girl? Oh, um, hey, Gail, what's up? I just want you to know that I am so excited that you decided to come see us. Oh, well, I don't know if I really decided, but... Well, whatever. We are just so glad to have you. You seem like such a girly girl, and there's just nobody around here like that. Um, a girly girl? What do you mean by that? Oh, uh, well, you know, you're all into makeup and stuff. Uh, I am? Why do you think that? Well, you know, like, your social media and stuff, you know, Insta. You follow me on Insta? Yeah, and it's, like, totally awesome. Um, well, I was actually thinking of deleting it. Oh, really? But you take such cool pictures. Why would you do that? I don't know, just, it's not cool anymore, is it? Oh, I mean, I guess not. Yeah, you're right, but, um... We could take some cool ones at the machine gun shoot this weekend. Um, do we really have to go to that? I mean, we don't have to, but don't you want some cool ones for Insta? Um, sure, Gail. Listen, I have to go. Do you think I could just, um, catch you later? Oh, sure. I'll see you at dinner. Oh, what are we having, by the way? Dear! What? Oh my freaking gosh, Rachel, can you believe what we had to eat tonight? I mean, was that even meat? I, I honestly don't think so. Uh, roadkill, maybe, but speak for yourself. I didn't eat any of that crap. Wait a minute, are you freaking serious? You didn't even eat any of that? No, are you out of your mind? Oh man, that is totally not fair. Mom said that we have to do everything our cousins and aunts and uncles do and say. Uh, speak for yourself. I can't believe this. First we have to eat roadkill, and now we have to go to this stupid machine gun shoot tomorrow? Uh, I am going to try to get out of it the best I can. How are you going to do that? I don't know yet, but I'll figure it out. But what about me? What am I going to do? I don't know, Gil. I guess you're crap out of luck. Well, I'll come up with something too. You'll see, and it'll be something even better. Alright, I guess we'll just have to see. I guess we will. So, Gil, how's that silly little machine gun shoot going? Are you having a good time? Seen any Confederate flags around yet? Uh, yeah, a few, you big jerk. So where are you? What's your excuse? Wouldn't you like to know my secret methods? 
Ugh, just tell me. All right, fine. I told Aunt Ruth that loud sounds trigger me. Loud sounds trigger you? What do you mean? Oh, well, you know, it just triggers my anxiety is all. But you don't even have anxiety. Well, I guess I do now, don't I? Oh, this place is terrible. There's all these tables under these tents and they're selling this crazy crap. Crazy crap like what? All this weird military stuff and t-shirts with machine guns and, you know, actual guns. And people are actually shooting? Uh, yeah. Every type of gun imaginable. Uh, Tech 9, M60. Uh, so you know all of the gun names now? Well, Billy keeps telling me about everything while I'm walking around. Jeez. So what, are you two, like, friends or something now? Are you out of your mind? I could never be friends with somebody like him. Well, I'm just glad that Gail went with y'all, as they like to say around here. Uh, what are you talking about? You know, how they all say y'all like we're in a country song? No, not that. I mean about Gail. Where is it that you think she is? Uh, the stupid machine gun shoot with you all. What did you think I meant? But she's not here with us. What do you mean she's not there with you? Uh, she stayed home. But why? I don't know. I guess she said that she had something to do. But, uh... What? Well, if you would just come with us, you wouldn't even have to worry about it. Oh my god, she's texting me right now. Good luck with that. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Hi, Rachel. How's it going? Oh, um, fine, fine. And how are you, Gail? Oh, I am just so great. I am so happy that you're here, that you stayed home from the machine gun shoot. Oh, um, yeah, well, loud sounds, kind of. Oh, I know, my mom told me. They trigger you, which I totally get. I mean, I have anxiety too, you know? Oh, um, you do? Yeah, I'm medicating everything. Prozac, Zoloft, Xanax, Anivin, the whole gambit. You know, nothing seems to be working. I I'm still just crazy all the time. Well, um, I guess I'm just going to take it easy today then. You know, just hang out at the house. Oh, really? Because I was kind of hoping that since you weren't going to go to the machine gun shoot, maybe we could hang out. Oh, uh, you want to hang out with me? Well, yeah, like totally. I was hoping that you'd want to go to Sephora or something. Oh, you have a Sephora in town? Really? Oh, yeah, like totally. It's at the mall. I mean... It's a little ways off, but we can make it. I mean, if you're feeling up to it. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Um, I guess so. It'll give us something to do, right? Yeah, sure. Let's totally do it. I'll go tell my mom. Oh, um, okay. Let's do it. Rachel, you have got to get me out of here. Billy is going to make me shoot some giant machine gun after lunch. Oh yeah? Well, at least you aren't in the middle of the sticks trying to find some mall. What do you mean some mall? What mall? There's a mall out here? I don't know. Supposedly. That's what Gail said. Oh, so you're hanging out with Gail now, huh? Well, look, she stayed home and happened to mention that there was a Sephora somewhere around. But we've been driving for 45 freaking minutes and haven't found a thing. Is Gail lost or something? I don't know if this place ever existed in the first place. And I have to pee really bad. So why don't you like Gail? She seems pretty cool to me. Oh, really? You think that's cool? That whole, like, country-style vibe? Uh, no, obviously not. But she definitely seems way more cool than Billy. And what's wrong with Billy? I was about to say that he seems pretty cool to me. Billy? Cool? What are you, nuts? The kid is following me around like a little lost puppy. Gail just thinks that I'm, like, so cool or something. I totally don't get it. Uh, yeah, me neither. And what is that supposed to mean? Nothing, just, I get you. Billy thinks I'm cool too, but I'm a total nerd. Uh, you're telling me. Yeah, but you know what I mean. He's all into, like, manly stuff. What does he want with me? I don't know, Gil. I guess you're just a really cool guy. Uh, how long do we have to be here? Three more days. Uh. Have you talked to Mom? Um, no. Have you? No, but she wants to talk to me. About what? I don't know, but I seriously have the feeling she's pissed at us both. 
For what? We didn't do anything. Well, I'm sure you'll be hearing about it soon yourself. Ugh. Hey, Mom. How's it going? Oh, hello, Rachel. It's very nice to finally hear from you. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I missed your messages. Sorry about that. Yes, apparently you have been missing a lot of messages lately. What do you mean by that? You know, like the messages that I've been trying to send you for weeks now that I wanted you to spend time with your cousins, not fake anxiety symptoms. Uh, what do you mean, Mom? Uh, faked what? I haven't been faking anything. I talked to Aunt Ruth. She told me all about why you didn't go to the machine gun shoot with the rest of your cousins. But I went to Sephora with Gail. Doesn't that count for anything? Yes, and from what I've heard, you complained the whole time. Wait, what? Yes, that's right. Your cousin Gail told Aunt Ruth all about it. Uh, are you serious? Just wait until you get home, and your brother, too. Uh. Hey, cuz, what's up? Did you have a safe trip back? Oh, um, hey, Billy. Yeah, sure, I definitely did. Great. So, um, it was really great getting to know you a little bit better. I, I really hope that you come down next year, too. Um, I'm sorry, Billy, but I honestly don't think that's going to happen. You see, I'm kind of a city guy. I like to do city things. I like city people, city food. Get me? Oh, right. Sure. I get you. Thank you. I sincerely appreciate that, Billy. Right. I get it. You're just kind of a jerk. Um, what? Well, you're just an elitist is all. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? It's just that your whole time here, you were kind of a jerk. My sister Gail thought so too. Wait a minute, you're telling me that your sister Gail called me a jerk? Yep, that's what I'm telling you. And your sister too. But, but what did we do? Well, you just go around acting like you're too good for all of us. It, it's pretty insulting, to be honest. Um, well, I had no idea. Yeah, you did. Anyway, if you ever get your head out of your butt, come back and see us sometime. Um, okay. Thanks, Billy. Billy? Hey, Rachel, what's up? Oh, nothing much, except that I feel like a total elitist piece of crap. What do you mean? Why? Well, maybe because I just got off the phone with Gail and she called me one. What? Are, are you serious? Like, excuse me for being honest about not enjoying the country life, okay? I just got called basically the same thing by Billy. What? Yep, it's true. Well, where did those two get off calling us elitists? I mean, what evidence do they have of that? Ugh, maybe it's because we kind of are, Rachel. I know. Damn it. Are we part of the problem, do you think? I mean, well, we certainly aren't part of the solution. Well, maybe we should go back next year. Maybe we should try again. It's not too late for us to change, is it? Absolutely not. People change all the time, right? It's never too late for us. I'm going to text Billy right now. And I'll text Gail. Let's be better people together. Deal, bro? Deal, sis. Despite the new change of attitude that Gil and Rachel had, they were not invited back to their cousin's house the next year. It was too late, and unfortunately, they had to learn a valuable lesson about how to treat people, especially family.